Right, I'm going to show you how to prepare a streak plate. Now this can be prepared for two reasons. Uh, first of all, it can allow you to see individual bacterial colonies. And the second reason is to allow different bacteria to be isolated from a mixed culture. The kind of plate we should end up with should be like this, where we have an area of very thick, dense bacteria, and then finally at the end, individual colonies that can be seen, each made of millions of identical bacterial cells. Now in order to carry out this procedure, you will need a Bunsen burner, a Petri dish containing nutrient agar, you will need your sample, today I'm going to use a sample of five day old milk, and you will need a wire loop, which is a standard piece of biological apparatus. Now, first of all, turn the Bunsen burner to the hot flame and then you, it's important to use aseptic technique throughout this procedure, so we're going to flame the loop until it becomes red hot. Now, the purpose of this is to kill any bacteria or other microorganisms that are on the wire loop. Allow the wire loop to cool for a few minutes. A few seconds actually should do it. And then we're going to actually take the sample of milk and we're going to carefully remove the lid and we're going to pass the top of the glass bottle through the flame. We're then going to insert the loop just to take out a small sample of the milk, reflame the top and then put our lid back on. We now have a drop of milk on the wire loop which should contain millions of different types of bacteria and we're now going to spread them on the plate in a special technique. So start by carefully lifting the lid and then without pressing just gently streak the wire loop across the plate side to side. You can then turn the dish to 45 degree angle and then repeat the process. You'll then turn the dish again by 45 degrees, repeat the process, and then finally by 45 degrees, and just drag into the middle of the plate. Replace the lid, reflame the wire loop, okay, and allow it to cool. And then put the Bunsen burner back on the safety flame. Now let me just recap what I did there. So basically, initially, I placed the loop on and I went left to right to drag the bacteria across the surface of the agar. I then turned by 45 degrees and I took some of this here and streaked it backwards and forwards across there. We then turned it by 45 degrees again, repeated the procedure and finally, by 45 degrees, dragging the bacteria across the, to the centre of the agar plate. Notice the banding pattern we get after looks something like that. The agar petri dish should now be incubated in an oven at 20 degrees for around 48 hours and after that time it should be possible to observe the individual colonies which can help you to identify the bacteria you're looking at. Alternatively, if it's a mixed culture, you may by the end be able to see individual colonies of the different bacteria in the culture. For example, we've got the purple ones and we've got the pink ones. It would be possible, using a wire loop now, a sterilised wire loop, to actually pick off individual colonies to subculture them.